Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we are going to be talking about the newest event week, the bonuses, discounts, sales, and a whole lot more that Rockstar have got going on in Grand Theft Auto Online this week. Now, today is a pretty special day if you're a fan of Grand Theft Auto. It is October 1st, and a lot of you guys might recognize that day as the anniversary of Grand Theft Auto Online. That's right, seven years ago today, Rockstar turned on the servers for GTA 5's multiplayer. So it's pretty cool. It's a very special day. Obviously, a lot of people seven years ago were playing the game for the very first time, or at least trying to play the game for the very first time, because as you guys know in the very beginning, things were not all that great. The servers were terrible. Like, there were just so many little problems back on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And this event week was one that I was looking forward to for a good bit because I wanted to see if Rockstar was going to be doing something. And the answer here might shock you. So let's jump into it. So Rockstar officially calls this week Special Vehicle Week. They said double rewards on special vehicle work, plus additional bonuses in business battles, the Diamond Adversary series, and more. So Rockstar says, who doesn't want to whip around the city in a heavily modified vehicle like the destructive Phantom Wedge or the hypersonic rocket Voltic? Indulge your base instincts and make a little extra along the way with double rewards for special vehicle work. And they go on to say, swing by your executive office and use the SecuroServe laptop to launch these missions and pull down that doubled payday. Plus unlock the customary Warstock cash and carry discount, a trio of special vehicles, the Ramp Buggy, Blazer Aqua, and the aforementioned Phantom Wedge can all be added to your personal multi-purpose repertoire at 40% off this week. So that's the first thing that Rockstar has got going on in Grand Theft Auto Online is special vehicle work. You'll be getting two times the money and two times the RP for completing that. So that's obviously a great way to make a little bit of extra money. And as you know, we've got the biggest Hello. DLC ever coming later this year. So it looks like Rockstar is stockpiling up on opportunities for us to make a bit of extra cash so that when that update does come around and when it does arrive, we should have no excuse not to have as much money as possible. So that is the first thing that is going on. The second thing that is going on this week is double rewards in business battles and more. So Rockstar says, if you prefer the cold-blooded competition of black market capitalism, keep an eye out for business battles firing in free roam. They're dishing out two times money in RP this week, and winning any business battle will land you the claim what's yours T. So I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. It's pretty simple. You've got sort of like this graffiti-like claim what's yours font. You've got the Degenitron uh, on the sleeve as well. So overall, a pretty cool free t-shirt. All that you have to do to claim the Claim What's Yours T is, again, win any business battle. And you should be highly incentivized to jump into them as, again, two times money in RP dishing out this week. The next thing that is two times money in RP is double rewards in the Diamond Adversary series. So Rockstar says, meanwhile, high rollers and sharpshooters alike can meet in the Diamond Casino and Resort to settle their scores and debts in the Diamond Adversary series, which is paying out double money in RP all week long. Simply head to the Bunker Series icon near the Diamond Casino and Resort on your map to take part. So I wasn't a huge fan of this because I think the adversary modes are a little boring. The location itself is fun, taking place all parts of the casino. But again, it's just basically the same old adversary modes we've been playing for years now just in a different location, but at least this week they're double money and RP. This week, I guess to celebrate the anniversary of online, I don't know, Rockstar says you can unlock the Red Diamond Classic T, which ends on October 7th. So Rockstar says play Grand Theft Auto Online anytime between October 1st through the 7th to get the Red Diamond Classic T, a throwback to a time with even looser regulations and less government oversight. So the only other thing that this really confirms is that this event week is lasting for one week long. So it's going to be starting today, obviously on Thursday, October 1st, and then it will be ending on October 7th, which is next Wednesday, even though the tunables won't officially roll over until next Thursday, the 8th, 
Either way, it's a cool free t-shirt. It's red, which looks sharp, and you've got like this fun diamond casino pattern on there. So it's your only week to get that. There's also a new podium vehicle this week, which is a little bit confusing. I'm not sure why Rockstar decided to choose this one. But this week, it is the Coil Brawler, where they said swing by the lobby of the Diamond Casino and Resort to give the lucky wheel a spin for the opportunity to walk away with money, RP, or all sorts of mystery prizes. This week on the podium is the Coil Brawler, an off-roader with enough horsepower under the hood to muscle its way over even the toughest terrain. So as always, when a new event week arrives and a new podium vehicle is added, we always go to the casino and give it a spin. And this week, I was feeling confident. You know, it was the anniversary of Grand Theft Auto Online. So needless to say, I was feeling pretty good about my chances of actually winning this car. So we went over to the wheel. We ended up giving it a spin. And the same thing happened this week. It ended up spinning a lot slower than I thought was going to happen. And so when I ended up spinning the wheel, I unfortunately saw the car icon go past. And I ended up on RP. Not surprising, but at least I got a pretty decent amount. 7,500, which did allow me to rank up to 381. So that is a little bit better right there. Honestly, the lucky wheel is how I rank up the easiest because I'm always getting RP because my luck is actually terrible. And I don't know why Rockstar chose the Coil Brawler. It seems a little bit random, but that's the vehicle that is on the podium this week. It's still a pretty fun car. I would recommend it spinning as often as possible so that you can win, uh, at least give yourself the best chance of winning. Moving on to the discounts that are happening this week, we've got a handful of interesting ones. 40% off of all executive offices, 25% off of all vehicle warehouses, 40% off of the Blazer Aqua, 40% off of the Phantom Wedge, 30% off of all executive office customizations, interiors, organization name change, the money safe, gun locker, accommodation, personal assistant, and then additional vehicles like the BF Club, which are 25% off, and the Ramp Buggy, which is 40% off. So those are your discounts going on this week. Rockstar also have the same Prime Gaming discounts that are happening. Uh, so you get $200,000 for playing anytime this week. The Vespucci Canals nightclub location for free. 40% off of the Yosemite Rancher. 70% off of the Declasse Drift Yosemite. And Rockstar is still giving players who relink their account or link it again a $1 million bonus, which will be deposited to their Maze Bank accounts within 72 hours of doing so. So the same Twitch Prime or Prime Gaming bonuses that were happening last week. And then, of course, you've got the premium races and the time trials that are going on this week. Uh, this week's time trial is Great Ocean Highway, located in Rockford Hills, with a part time of 2 minutes, 4 seconds, 0.9. This week's RC Bandito time trial is Power Station, located at the Palmer Taylor Power Station, with a part time of 1 minute and 45 seconds. And this week's premium race is Art to Art, which is a motorcycle class race. So other than that, that is pretty much everything that is going on this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Going back to what we talked about at the beginning for the anniversary, yeah, you didn't miss anything either. Rockstar just did not include anything about the anniversary of GTA Online. They didn't even mention it. There's no free money opportunity. There's no like special bonuses tied to the seven year anniversary. Like how bizarre is that? Again, what's weird is that last year Rockstar celebrated the anniversary, but this year they're not. It just doesn't seem to make sense all the things that they're doing. So I don't know if we will officially hear from Rockstar regarding the anniversary. The only thing they've put out this week on their social media page is a Twitter post you know, outlining that the newswire is here. But again, they don't mention anything about happy birthday, GTA Online, the anniversary, nothing like that. And I can only imagine that that is going to make fans unhappy, or at least a lot of fans unhappy. And we might even cover some of those reactions in a future video because it's a pretty big deal. And I'm just not sure why Rockstar doesn't choose to talk about it. Even if they don't think it's a big deal, the community certainly does. And I think this is a missed opportunity for them to do something fun each and every year in GTA's multiplayer. But I would still love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this event week here in Grand Theft Auto Online on the anniversary of GTA 5's multiplayer. Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Are you somewhere in the middle like you just don't really care? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. Would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. 
or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.